So we've just arrived at Flamingo and checked in. Um, so we're doing a quick room tour um, just because we've just arrived. It's very similar to the one we had last October, if you uh, remember that. But we have a front strip view this time rather than a side. So start here, we've got the wardrobe, big double wardrobe, loads of space. And the safe is in there. See the usual kind of iron and iron and board tv and we've got kind of a desk area with some drawers we've got the big long tall mirror here lamps a table and a chair here and then i'll go back to the view in a minute there's the desk and a chair there as well we've gone for the queen just to get a bit more space so a couple of big beds. They're actually really high beds. <laughs> when I walked in, I thought I'm gonna have to jump to get onto one of them, but I am only little. Um, and the usual kind of bedside cabinets. Uh, we do actually have a little fridge here, which is nice. Um, so then over to the view. So last time we had a side view overlooking the Blasio fountains. This time we've got a front view. What we do love about these rooms is the floor to ceiling windows, like huge three big panel windows so you don't just have one of these tiny little views uh, we did love the view at planet hollywood last year but it was tiny the window whereas these ones really um it just lightens the room it's, it looks amazing um we've never had a front strip view i don't think like this um so it's overlooking caesar's palace and their little fountains down there and then off to the side off to the north we can obviously see mirage down there we've got um the mountains in the back you can see rio and then obviously to the left we can see bellagio and we can still see the fountains which is nice and cosmo so it's it's good to have a different view actually um and we still get to see a, a different view and a different um outlook on Vegas but um really really loving that um kind of big windows and being, you feel like you're right in the middle of the strip don't you you feel like you're kind of right in the in the heart of it so it'll be lovely tonight when it's all lit up I'm sure anyway um and then the final thing's the bathroom so this is a bigger bathroom than we had last time so there's the toilet there's like a big corner shower and then a uh, mirror and obviously just the sink. All in all, it looks quite decent quality, doesn't it? Standards, good. Uh, can't see any problems with it at the moment. There's no kind of issues. Even the, the, the furniture looks all right. Nothing wrong it? with the Dirty Bird one. Nothing, Nothing wrong with the Dirty Bird. I think anybody who... This is the second time we've stayed here now and we wouldn't have come back if we weren't happy with yeah. it, would we? Um... But yeah, I mean, just look at that view. This is why we this is why we loved it so much last time. Central location, and the beautiful view, and we've got it again. Can't complain at all. Oh baby, what you want tonight? Go crazy, come on, let's start a fire. Oh baby, you know, you know, you know, you know.
time I see you, every time I want to be near you, you light up my world, girl, 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 girl. So we had a little nap because we were shattered from not really sleeping in the plaza the last night. And um, we woke up to this. It's all vacancy outside. <laughs> What a view. Did you see the fountain show as well? Never really had a front facing view like that before. And Caesars looks spectacular. Today's nightclub's just sticking out a little bit too much to see the full family show, but we can see half of it. Just makes you want to get out there, doesn't it? Get out there and get all vacancy again. Are you ready to be Vegasy again, Michael? Strip Vegasy again. You've done downtown Vegas. You want me to strip? <laughs> no. Did I hear that? No, you didn't. You can't really strip much out at the minute. Anyway, you're lying in bed on your, in your underpants. <laughs> and you're not appreciating it at all. <laughs> Definitely don't think that's what the viewers want. Ah, you'd be surprised. I think that if the viewers knew that I was in my underpants and, and now else, off camera is, ex is exactly where they would want this <laughs> to be happening. <laughs> just never get sick of a fountain show. I know I say that every time, but I just never do. Definitely think this view will do. You think? Yeah. Okay, let's go get some Vegas in. Right, so we'll start our night with some learning. And that way, everyone's a winner, no matter what happens. Yeah. Producer, right? Evil, yes. As we know, hair full of snakes turns people to stone when she looks at them. Men only, though. Yes. Um, do you know the other side of the, of the Medusa story, though? No. That's a nice, should be a nice win. Um, so, Medusa was originally I mean, a very a beautiful woman with flowing golden blonde hair which in, in, in like ancient Greece was a real sign of kind of like beauty because it was so rare right. she was um, a priestess in Athena's like a temple ooh bonus no? oh uh, it, doesn't it doesn't expand you know what it's because I've got that on ah. damn it sorry <laughs> Well, anyway, she was a, a, a kind of high uh, a, a, a priestess in Athena's like temple. And she caught the eye of Poseidon. Right. Now, that was never a good thing for a woman. He was a little bit... He was a little bit of a wrong'un, Poseidon. Right. And while she rejected Poseidon's uh, advances... 
he forced himself on her. She fled to the actual a temple for help, and she received none. And he had his way with her against her will. And Athena was very angry about this. And what Athena basically did, because she couldn't blame it on Poseidon, because he was a more senior god than her, she basically blamed it all on Medusa, cursed her, took away her kind of looks, gave her these kind of snakes, had turned her into an absolute monster, and, you know, basically sent her away to live this awful life. So th then she sent men after men after men out there on missions to kill her, so in actuality, although Medusa is a monster in uh, like folklore, what actually happened was that she was the first case of recorded victim shaming, victim uh, like blaming. And that I think puts an entirely new perspective on the Medusa character. What do you think? Yeah. This bonus would put a massive, this, uh, <laughs> that bonus had landed out, but a completely different perspective. But actually, there is one other part of the tale. Have we just stop there? See that fella there? Pegasus? That's actually Medusa's son with Poseidon right. from the rape. Right. And that's because Poseidon, whilst he's also the god of, 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 of the seas, he's, he's also the, the Greek god of horses. Okay. So there you go. So, uh, a favourite from earlier on in the trip, Lion Link. There's what, 22 there? So it's a yeah. two cent in on, so there's about 44 there. But there's not many gaps to fill. This is the only thing. Uh, that's me. Uh, it's bad, isn't it? Because you kind of, uh, you get loads at the start and think, ooh, that's great, and then you realise that you're not getting a game. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, this is the different version that we played last time, which was the, the hen version, this is the dragon. I like the Nothing big, but at least there's some gaps this time that he can fill with some nice biggies. Yeah. Let's have some biggies as well. There's one thing. If we get anything landing, of course. They're all two cents in on again. Come on, the dragon. It's called Wealth of the Dragon. I feel like the, the dragon likes to hoard his wealth a bit more than the rooster does. I feel like the rooster was a bit more sharing of his wealth. Come on, hit something. Yeah, I don't think the dragon's as uh, charitable as the rooster. If you think about last time when we were getting like uh, 40 balls and all sorts of stuff, uh, 24 win. Right, so we moved over to the rooster because of how generous he was last time. Anyway, we've only done like three spins in and we got it. And he's given us a 25 minor already. So we've gone down to one cent in on. Come on the rooster. See, nice balls there. Come on. Just one more ball. One more, one more, just, just one more. more rooster, one more. Better Much better than the last two, yeah. Although we did get a 44 on the dragon, didn't we? But he was on two cents, you know. Nice rooster. What's great is we've got the six balls organically as well, so we didn't have to throw any down. So it means he's still stocked up up there for when we need some help. Nice, squeeze. Thank you, Rooster. Right, well, we've got another one. We're a bit down, but um, has he got anything for us? He's a frustrating old Rooster. Nothing 
big one. Well, just little and slightly better. A 250 major would be would be okay. For the small one, be about what twenty, maybe slightly less. So we've gotten the free games, a free games. So these are with the walking wild. So you want the doors? We want a lot of them, and then they basically. They walk along. We need as many of them as possible. So they'll now all move to the left. There, more. We need more doors, more wilds. It's all right. Thirty-six. That's better than the last bonus. Come on, more wilds, more wilds. Ah, uh, not so good. Right, come on, five games left. Give us some more wilds, fill it up. Ah, real three there. That looks okay. 44. Come on, fill it up with wilds. That looks okay. 47. Three left. Real two, we need some wilds, I think, in there. Yeah. Right, come on. Yes, more. Oh, that should be alright. 55, last spin. Real three, wilds. Yes, yes. I don't think you can get a better screen than that. It's a $20 win. It's obviously not the best symbol, but... $75, though. Much better than the balls. Thank you, Rooster. He does keep your interest a bit, the rooster, doesn't he? He gives you a game. He does. So two spins later, we were just saying that he gives you a game, and he's uh, he's given us this two spins later. He's his eyes balls. Yeah, huh? Come on, the rooster. Yeah, let's see if bigger balls. I wouldn't call them big balls, but mini medium balls on, can attract more way. medium ones. Decent enough. Anything else for us? Come on. No, but I'll take that. Yeah, we were just saying actually that we haven't, we felt like we haven't had many back to back bonuses no. on this trip, so. Uh, We'll happily take this one. Very nice. So we've moved on to piggy banking. We're just uh, doing one dollar bet. Slow rolling. Nudgies? Uh, we're not doing nudgies, Michael. No, nudgies. no, we're doing the locker feature, please. Take all the opportunities to say nudgies. No, locker. I'm doing that quick before he chooses the nudgies. <laughs> Right, they're all separate, yeah. <laughs> right, come on then, you do the spinning. We need all the joint piggies we can. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, come on, piggies, we need to join. No! Come on, piggies. Please! Oh, no. Nothing's joining. No! Should have got no cheese. Oh, piggies, man. Really? You know what? We should have gone nudgies. <laughs> Ten. Ten dollar win. Twelve dollars. Uh. Alright, we're playing Magic Treasures Dragon. We just thought we'd give this a go. Anyway, we haven't been going for long and uh, we've got the picky bonus, the jackpot bonus. Michael's doing the picking. The mini's only eight dollars minus twenty. And then the major's basically a thousand. You know fine well we're getting the mini uh, 
The major is 1017, please. If you want to continue with that. You're a bit stuck. I'm All stuck. your corners are gone. The minor is 20. Ooh, well, the max is, five would be is 50 times 5 would be lovely. Mini times two would be 16. Now the, 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 now the minis, minis will come. Oh, the minor. 20. I would have preferred the maxi times five if I might have Yeah, still. But anything that's not a mini is a win. Yes, it is. So because I did the last pickies, Lindsay's going to get the pressure this time. There's a very nice 1192 mini there. But it can be boosted and super boosted. Our name all over that. Actually, then. look, just get the award all. Okay. There's the mini. There's the mini, There's the mini again. Just I'm feeling, really just feeling an, an efficient move. There we go. I don't know how you do that. I don't. It's a gift. It is. I honestly, I mean, it's not the first time that you've found the shortest possible route to the mini. I know. I'm gifted. Definitely special. Right, well, we'll never play this version of a Dragon Link. It might be the first time ever. But we've got the bonus. This is a $1 bet, one cent in arm. I think it's the one with a big ball in the middle. Yeah. Well, hopefully it's got a big ball in the middle anyway. Hey, holding spin. Not a huge ball, but maybe it is for a, a, a $1 bet, actually. Oh, that's nice. Anything else? Last spin. Ah. Oh, so it's only the second game of six. It's up to a 22 bonus at the minute. Come on, ball again. It'll take a wild as well. To re trigger. Nice. Don't know how many it's, it's, it's going to re trigger. It's a nice symbol, to be fair. Three. Just the three. I was thinking that's a bit of a con. Oh, that was a 50 ball. be all right that'll be something would have been better if it was on real five as well but... Come on, the ball. it's a wild but nothing linking up all, all the way along but another wild ah, something linking up there it's a it's a good win on a a one dollar spin yeah yeah, never. I suppose it's just the exact same version as Spring Festival, yeah. but with different symbols. And um, we've got it again. So Michael's doing the pressing this time. Come on, give us that ball again. Uh, dead spin. Come on then. Oh, dead good. spin again. <laughs> Michael did say he had low expectations of this, but maybe not three yeah, dead spins. Come on, yay! 50 ball, I nice. I knew the <laughs> you see? I knew it. I just, I just had a good feeling Really? Come on, drop some wordies in here. Or drop anything in here for now. Come on. Uh oh. I think that might be it. Come on, hit. Oh. It's like, it's like you got the 50, you're not getting anything else. <laughs> I'll take the 50. Yeah, definitely. Come on, give us it again. Last spin. Come on, ball, 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 ball. Ah, tens okay. all the way. Well, that was a kind of ball on the 50 ball. Really. It was, because it was 54 20, yeah. so it was only 4 20 other than that ball. They Still? Them the, the, like scatter. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah. Nice ball, though. So the Peacock Princess keeps on uh, giving us a game. There's, uh, I think, 37 there already, which is on a, a one for a dollar bet is a good win by itself. Is there anything else? 
to another wordy. Last spin. Fifty. Jeez. Well, the, the the peacock princess seems to like us. Bloody glad someone does. It gives us a 50 ball and then says, that's it. Nice. Yeah. It's really good bonus on a $1 bet. For the two. Come on, the Peacock Princess. Through the ten. Last chance. And we continue. The music has slowed, that can only mean one thing. Ooh, the 50 and a minus won't do it. Last chance. Uh, what a, that's a hell of a win. What a bonus that is on a one dollar bet. I'm sure it's come after the last two as well. Must be what, 90, there? <laughs> Ninety-seven. Wow. Take that off with a one dollar bet all day long. Very nice. Spiced? We've never seen this before. Is this a thing? If you ever got sore feet in Vegas, then just come to the side of uh, Horseshoe and there is an emergency footwear vending machine. It's right beside Dirt Dog. There you go.
come across to the Bellagio uh, to do a little bit of betting. We've been watching the family show and we just fancied it. Anyway, we're doing uh, Huff and More Puff. We got the buzz saws finally. Uh, only on a 150 bet, two cent in on. So let's see what it's got for us. We just know it's probably going to be mega hats. Four mega hats, probably. That is the mega hats. Always the mega hats. Four. <laughs> well, if we get more than four hats, we generally don't get another hat after that, so. That's why I'm not losing the <laughs> Come on. It's a biggie. Nah, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> We've never had that one. Okay. Wow. Go on. Oh, yes. Well, hey, that's the best start we could have wanted. I can't believe we got the big hat. Come on, more hats. Go, oh, we've got a gold one already. Nice. Come on. Hats, hats, hats. Come on, please. Hats, hats, hats. No. Oh, there's two. Come on, two. Come on, hats. Yes, another gold. Right. Come on. Hats, hats, hats. Last one. Come on, hats. Three, three, three. No. Just two golds. And a full screen of houses of some sort. Could have been better, but still not complaining. That's a lovely screen though, isn't it? So it's only 150 bets, but it is 270 nom. Come on, Wolfie. Okay, all the norm. What's this thick houses got for us? A few six dollars there. Right, come on, coins. Give us the hundred miner. Coins, coins, coins. Ah. What about 20, 24 there, each dollar. of them? That's not bad, is it? On a 150 bet. I've seen the false, the false. Yeah, it was nice. That full hat. I wasn't expecting that. It was a surprise. Good start. All right, we're playing one of the um, leprechaun games. I don't know what it's called. Anyway, it's um, we've got the wheel bonus. So leprechauns gold, rainbow oh, oasis. oasis. There you go. They're on holiday anyway. The leprechauns. So the bottom half has got to fill in. Let's see what we have got. It looks like the worst thing up there at the minute is oh a lucky jackpot. Oh no, it's going to be the mini, eighteen dollars. Well, that, there wasn't much jeopardy in that, was there? <laughs> oh well. I don't feel very lucky. No. Oh no, they're quite happy. The little dog's quite happy. So I found another lion link. It's the the dragon one again. He was a little, seems a little bit more stingy. Let's see after this whole thing. Come on. Lindsay's really not a fan of the like the dragon one. We've actually seen a lot of ball, big balls go through there, but but they've always been when there's four or five of them. I'm not looking for normally. Promising. Last spin. Oh, thirty dollars maybe. Which isn't the end of the world on a one fifty bet. No, but the balls on the land of before were much bigger. Mm. Sahara Gold, we're still in the Bellagio, we're just getting the um, free spins, we're getting four, which is nice, it's the first time we've had the free spins bonus this time. Um, we've actually been sat on Peacock Princess for about an hour, <laughs> just low rolling, haven't we? And it's just kept us going, we didn't vlog any of it, because there were all just loads of low bonuses, but we must have had about oh, 20 bonuses or something ridiculous, but all just getting us like $20, $30 keeping us going 
Um, and then what well, the woman beside us put about two grand in she kept feeding that machine and it just wasn't coming off for her at all so we were willing her to win in the end we felt really bad for her but it still wasn't working anyway we thought we'd vlog this we don't know what's gonna happen it might not go into the vlog fifteen dollars to start off with we always go right you sure that's what i always go Spain. We usually get the uh, extra what's it don't we? That's a good Ooh, start. a ten and a ten, which is a, a mini ten. Ball. It's a good start if we get more balls. There we go. We usually get the free games with more uh, wilds and everything like that, don't we? Come on. Keep us going. Some tens going through there, some more minis. There's a minor, 50 minor. Anything else? No. Nope. Just a little thing to keep us going. The person over here keeps getting their full screens on Crazy Rich Asians. It's the second time in about three or four minutes they've had four screens. We've won a 40 bonus, that's good. On a one dollar bet. We're keeping it uh, low rolling tonight just to keep us in the game. Because yeah. we have been betting a bit higher recently and unfortunately it's been going quite quickly. So we've took the decision to do a bit of low rolling. So it's that time of day again. It is fucking 50 time and we know how good it's been to us this whole trip. I think we've had two winning ones, haven't we? Out of ten. I'd be and even then, And even then they were like seven pounds. <laughs> dollars, seven dollars and something else a bit naff. Anyway. It's storied, I'm sure that everybody's rooting for us. Yes, right. So Michael has decided he, we are on Sahara Gold, we're in Bellagio. Michael's decided he's going to do 10 $5 spins, is that right? Yeah, I would do 10, I would do five $10 spins, but it's not that. So. Yeah, okay. Whoa. Come on, the fucker 50. Go on. Ah. Uh. That's something there. Oh, it doesn't line up. Come on. Go on. Oh, it's okay. halfway through them. <laughs> it's not looking good so far. That's halfway through them. It's keeping in spirit. Oh, what are you doing now? What have you just done? 12.50 back. I'm going to do another one now. And then that's it. Then Gone. That's it. Right, okay. Oh. Unrewarded again. What does it do at the end of Dragon Link or whatever when you win? It goes do do do. Technically, I won 250. Great. Whoop. No, technically, you lost 47.50. I know, but considering it was pre lost money, oh. I won 250. <laughs> Believe me, it's not pre lost. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. History would, would argue. <laughs> Play the music. <laughs> 